So in order to do the workflow automation very fast, very simple and very smart, we're going to use partial and partial is one super fast. Uh, at the base, you don't need any configuration. It do, does a lot of things out of the box. It does out of the box optimization of your JavaScript, your HTML, your CSS. Uh, it's just gonna automate your workflow out of the box. So that's why we're gonna use partial and maybe later on you pick another tool but I think this is the most simple one to start with to yeah do your workflow automation and I want to show you how you can just can set it up in your project and for that we are going to our editor and I'm using Visual Studio Code because one it's free two it's super easy three it you will get updates every month and you can see whatever is new in it and you can just yeah do a lot of changes you have a list of settings you want or you have you can well i'll show you you can do a lot of different teams whatever you like and just customize your editor how you want it and you have a lot of extensions so i think that's a very smart idea to use this editor if you prefer another then just go ahead then it doesn't matter you can also just follow this course along uh, i'm not very bind to whatever editor you are using so also one of the features is that Visual Studio Code comes with a built-in terminal. In order to uh, yeah, set up our uh, partial configuration, well, configuration like, well, we add this to a basic project. Well, over here, I created a index.html, just a simple page, you see it, doesn't even include a head tag and a simple JavaScript file. And that's all about it. And then you see your uh, package.json. And this one is very important for your project when using with partial. And it, it's required to have if you're doing something with Node.js. And I can show you how you can generate this one. So for right now, we're gonna just delete this one and you can generate this with NPM in it. And you can use the minus Y, but yeah, if you want to answer a bunch of questions and uh, filling that in, you can do that. But I want to make this a lot quicker. So right now it's gonna uh, generate my package.json and it already sets up some stuff. Uh, you can fill in that later. For this course, it is not super important yet. So we have our package.json and that's required to use partial. So let's check out the getting started. And what you should do is have the a partial bundler installed on your computer and with the npm install minus g if you install that via your terminal uh, the minus g means globally so it means in every project that you uh, want to use this you you know for sure it is available so we run that and it's gonna take some time I already got installed this, but hey, let's do it again. And this will run. So we're gonna check this one, the getting started page. And well, we already run the NPM init to generate our 
extra JSON. We also created our index.html and our index.js, which is linked in the uh, body. And in the JavaScript file, we have just a console log with hello world. So let's check if it is ready. It is ready. And let's clear this up. And let's run partial, see what it does. And automatically it will run a local host server with port one, two, three, four. How easy. Uh, but you are able to change it. But right now we're gonna leave it uh, one, two, three, four. So copy, paste it in your terminal and execute. So right now it's telling us the server is running and it did a build well. We can see that it created the, the dist folder with the index.html. And you already see that it did rename uh, your JavaScript file with the uh, name of the project that we declared in the package.json name property. And it generated a string, a random string. So you can see also that it's adding in some JavaScript to do some optimization. I don't know exactly what is under it, under the hood, but it's doing some optimizations that uh, can really benefit your website. So this is if you deploy this to a server via FTP or something else, you just have your website. So this is what a uh, partial does. Well, of course, we're gonna open this in the browser and localhost uh, port one, two, three, four. And it's just the HTML page with a H1 and just loading in your JavaScript file. So this is the most basic, the most bare bones setup for partial.